Well, airlines were hoping travel would be picking up by now, but airports are still eerily quiet, and the industry says it needs more government help to keep people on the job. Starting Thursday, an industry hit hard by the impacts of COVID-19 will furlough thousands of workers without an extension of federal aid, which could have kept them employed. Alaska Airlines says it'll furlough 532 people nationwide, including nearly 300 flight attendants. The airline saying, quote, while we're encouraged by the strong bipartisan support in both houses of Congress to help airline workers, time is running out. Beverly Bullock is an Alaska flight attendant. I think there's a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, people are trying to figure out what they're going to do. Uh, people are looking to see if there's other jobs, but at this point, there's there are no other jobs. I mean, it's it's pretty bleak for the country as a whole. According to state warn notices, Delta could furlough up to 74 people in Washington state, United as many as 259 workers, and American warns of a possible 111 temporary furloughs. The last thing we want to do is uh, furlough employees. That's why we've been fighting so hard for them to come to agreement. Alaska says it was able to save some positions. No pilots, maintenance techs, or dispatchers will be forced out of their jobs. But for others at risk, the failure to extend federal aid has real consequences. At the strike of midnight, people are going to be without a job. We should be getting this done, and it should have been done yesterday. American Airlines says it'll start furloughing 19,000 workers starting tomorrow. Now, if Washington reaches a deal on an aid extension, the airline says it could bring those workers back in the coming days. Live at SeaTac, Ted Land, King 5 News.